Which all new 2024 Toyota Tacoma is best for you? Well, in this first drive video, I'm gonna try to get to the bottom of this question. Why try? Well, because there's like eight bajillion trim levels and options on new Tacoma. So it's kind of hard to figure it out, but I'm gonna do it by driving three trucks and showing you all the features. I'm gonna start with this guy. This is a double cab, which basically means a crew cab, brand new Tacoma TRD Sport. And what does the Sport mean? Well, the Sport means it's tuned a little bit more for the street. And you can see kind of by the tire that Toyota selected. This is a Michelin Primacy LTX and it's a 265-65 R18. I think it's a pretty nice looking wheel. You got a TRD center cap and the suspension to kind of match, you know, this truck for spirited on-road driving. It still has a five foot bed and this truck starts at $41,800. By the way, if you check out oldtfl.com, come over here. If you check out oldtfl.com, Zach and I also did the base SR 4x4 truck that starts at about $35,000. And of course, the new Tacoma starts at about $31,500. All right, let's look under the hood. All 2024 new generation Tacomas have a turbocharged engine. And they're starting the sale of this truck without the hybrid system. So underneath, um, under the hood here of this TRD Sport is a 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder. And because this has a six speed manual transmission, yep, it produces 270 horsepower and 310 pounds feet of torque. If this was an eight-speed automatic transmission, it would produce just a little bit more power, 278 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. It does have this big um, aero chin spoiler, but behind it, as you can see, we have tow hooks. There's one on the passenger side and there's another one here on the driver's side. So we kind of have both. I'll tell you about some of the fuel efficiency numbers in a little bit. All right, now let's jump in because the interior of this truck is, I want to show you, there's a lot going on. You might be saying, okay, $41,800 is a lot of money to start. Uh, well, this is kind of a mid-grade. This is kind of in the core, they call it, of the new Tacoma. The interior is pretty nice. New design throughout. It's got a giant 14-inch infotainment screen in the, in the center. It also has a digital gauge cluster. Uh, actually, let's get in and I'll show you the startup. So, let's see. I'm going to push the button. I was pressing on the clutch and the brake pedal, so the truck is happy. And this is the full digital display right there. So now let me put my seatbelt on and we can go for a quick drive. I haven't driven the manual on-road yet. I also have an off-road video that's coming up soon, so stay tuned to altfl.com. This has wireless Andro um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I have a wireless charging pad. Let's see if it'll actually work. Yeah, it is. And it actually has a little soft holder. So hopefully it won't get dislodged as I drive. This is a 4x4 truck with 4 low. And it has a couple of different drive mounts, sport, normal, and eco. Let's go to sport because this is the first drive. And it does have the camera system. I enabled it. It's gonna go through its kind of initial surround view. Very 
there. Just enabled the parking brake, disabled it. Here's the camera system. It's full featured. It's pretty nice. You can see the front tires towards the rear tires. You can choose which side you prefer. There we go. All right, let's go for a quick drive. And I'm gonna follow another Tacoma, another TRD Sport in red. <laughs> so the TRD lineup, of course, is growing for Toyota Tacoma. They also have a pre-runner, TRD pre-runner, which is a two-wheel drive truck with an extra cab, so a shorter cab and a two-door orientation. They have this, they have the TRD off-road, they have the TRD Pro that's coming next year because it will be a hybrid only, at least to start. And the hybrid trucks, the new Tacoma hybrids will, will begin sale in the spring of 2024. So, and we're not able to drive those yet. What we are able to drive is these non-hybrid models. All right, let me go this way. And I'm gonna try to give it the beans, as Tommy would say. <laughs> oh, there it is, there's the power. In second gear, I could really feel it. And that's 60. It's pretty easy to drive. I was also going uphill. I'm happy that Toyota still offers the manual transmission. GM went away from it, actually a while ago for mid-size trucks and all, all pickups. Ford went away from it. Ram doesn't have a mid-size truck, but still they don't have any manuals. Jeep is the really the only one right now with the Gladiator with a manual transmission. Frontier also has automatic only. This truck is equipped with a trailer brake controller. Of course, it has a hitch. It has around 1,300 pounds of payload. Then it will also tow, depending on the configuration. Well, the base truck tows up to 3,500 pounds. These core models can tow up to 6,500 pounds, depending on the configuration. So they're not, the new Tacoma is not a class leader in towing, but I think that was not their priority. Their priority was to make the driving uh, and the cabin in the driving position more comfortable, and they have done that. I can confirm. This does not feel like a traditional Tacoma uh, seating position. Um, it feels really comfortable. I'm almost 6'3". I have headroom, the telescoping steering wheel. I can adjust it just right. And the seat, I'm not feel, I don't feel like I'm sitting on the floor. So um, they really did a great job with the interior, the sitting position, the power is better. And also the efficiency is pretty much class leading. So that is the TRD Sport. Of course, you can also get it with an automatic. Difference in price is around, well, just over $1,000. The automatic is a little bit more expensive. So now let's jump in in, in a totally new truck, another trim level. And then there is this, the new 2024 Toyota Tacoma Pre-Runner trim level. It's an entire trim and it's called the TRD Pre-Runner. It's a unique trim because it's two-wheel drive, short cab, longer bed, and it's got basically off-road worthy tires, all from the factory. So let's take a look at the tire really quick. It's a B of Goodrich Trail Terrain TA. This is basically a 32 inch diameter, almost, 265 70 R17. And it's a TRD styled wheel, looks quite nice. And then if you peek, actually let's peek on the other side at the shocks. They're not anything super, super, you know, like branded, like Bill Stein's. These are basically TRD tuned. And this truck is really meant to be 
uh, somewhat off-road worthy, but not four-wheel drive. Like, for example, it has a skid plate. Well, this is kind of a soft one here. So it's more of an air deflector. But it's got good ground clearance, about 11 inches of it. It has a six-foot bed. And it also has this, leaf springs. So the other truck that I can show you in this video is a TRD Sport that had coil rear springs. This one has leaves and it's a gigantic leaf. Look at this, it goes all the way from here, all the way almost here underneath the rear bumper. So that's like four to five feet. I don't know the exact length of it. And of course the exhaust dumps here on the driver's side. And this is a two door design. Take a look inside really briefly. So the access to the rear cab is through the front doors. I believe this is the new Softex material. I think it's really sporty, looks really durable. Let me get this out of the way. Bam, behind here is a little storage shelf. There's a pegboard behind the Tacoma panel and there's a cubby right down there. Oh, there's a little kit in there as well, Toyota kit. So this is also kind of value-based and there's a tremendous amount of space. So let's get in. Uh, let's take it for a drive. I want to see how these leaves do. All right, let me put my seal belt on first. So this is an eight-speed auto. Yeah, I want to check it out. Two-wheel drive truck. Obviously, Toyota thinks that there is enough market for this particular trim level. And you can see it's based on a little bit more basic interior. It's got a smaller central screen. I want to point out there's a pretty handy charging spot right here on the passenger side of the screen. For the passengers, I have a full digital display. Oh, the door right there. No problems. And then let's see, I think I can reconfigure how these gauges look. Well, first of all, I obviously tack and speedometer. Then let me look. Hold OK to change settings. Driving support. So Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 is available, actually on all trim levels. Adaptive cruise mode. There's also drive modes. Take a look, it takes over the screen. Normal, sport, and eco. There's a big knob here. Also rear locker. Yep. So they're trying to make it, you know, off-road capable, but maybe job site capable. So if you are on a dirt lot like this, or you're on gravel roads, and you do, you, you may not need four-wheel drive all the time. Maybe this is the truck for you. Rear locker, like I said, adds traction. Off-road capable tires. These tires, by the way, they beat these BFGs. They also have on the tier the off-road trim. So that's how highly they think of these. Let me go into the sport mode. Their power output here is a little bit higher, 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque because this is an eight-speed auto. Let me turn left here. It's a stop sign recognition. You can kind of see it says stop at, at the top of that screen. So all of the, the full suite of Toyota Safety Sense, including lane centering and adaptive cruise control system. The red line here is a lot higher actually, over 6,000 RPM for the automatic. The red line was around 5,300 for the manual. There, that was plenty. That was just over 60 miles per hour. Very interesting. I wonder if I enable the rear locker. It probably only works at slower speeds. I can give it a try. 
another way this truck is pretty simple it has no brake controller because well it may have a hitch but it may not have a really really high tow rating there's some blank blank switches here there is no aux switches on my left although traction control off button is down here um, and actually i can also aim my headlamps toyota tundras have had this for a long time where i can actually adjust the um, angle of my lamps that's pretty handy but otherwise it doesn't have a heck of a lot of options which is why its starting price of one of these is around 38,000 wow it is pretty quick now that's going downhill Toyota also said um, they have noise cancellation in basically every trim with an automatic transmission so the cabin is supposed to be relatively you know a little bit quieter a little bit smoother this is, these are all pre-production trucks. That's why some of the surfaces are either hard plastic or really shiny plastic. So this is not going to be a production production piece. It has a regular mirror, no camera here. No sunroof. And this cap configuration, or at least in this model. Brakes feel pretty good. Yeah, let me know in the comments below. Would you buy a pre-runner? what type of use case do you think you would use it in as far as two-wheel drive just rear-wheel drive truck with a rear locker but hey it feels sprightly it feels nice it's pretty simple and it's under forty thousand dollars it's pretty hard to beat now shifting gears to something much more luxurious this is the all-new Tacoma Limited and this is currently at the top of the range for luxury I'm not talking about TRD Pro off-road trucks I'm talking about luxurious trucks check out the sidestep ah power sidesteps on a Tacoma this segment of the midsize trucks is also pretty big let's uh, kind of walk around this way sorry about the sun is really low right now, so it's kind of difficult to film. Let's uh, take a look at the rear end of this truck. This segment is growing. For example, the GMC Canyon Denali, of course, is playing in the same area. It's more premium mid-size pickup truck area. And let me know what you think in the comments below. So this is rolling on these chromed out wheels. These are um, 18 inch wheels so these are not even 20s 265 65 r18 and this is a general grabber hts tire so actually toyota is offering many many different tire options this looks to be pretty snow worthy uh, let me look let me look i don't see a snowflake rating but mns mns right there so mud and snow so we've seen Michelin tires, we've seen uh, General, we've seen BFG, so they have a full range of tire choices as well. Underneath the hood is still the same engine, so the turbocharged engine 2.4, but the nice, I love this color, I love the paint job. It has a power tailgate, let me see if I can use the side button. If that's not premium, I don't know what is. Still two inch receiver. It has points for a high lift jack. I don't recommend you take your limited Tacoma off-road over boulder fields, but if you do, you do have a place to um, actually jack up your truck if you have a high lift jack. It has a chrome tip. So pretty fancy looking right there. Of course, painted bumpers. And now we, we have to go look inside because it has a lot of features, including surround view camera modes and the rest. Actually here, a cubby on the other side. Let me just show you really quick. On the other side, there's an inverter system as well here, 400 Watts. If this was a hybrid, which it's not, it's coming. The hybrid, like I said, is coming next year this would have had uh, a higher wattage inverter 
but let's go look inside because it's also a really, really nice place to be. Just look at these uh, seats. Very premium looking, very nice. There is some wood trim. I'm not quite sure. I mean, it feels good to the touch. I'm not sure exactly if it's veneer, real wood or, or not. Let me take the camera just for a second. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start it up. You can put it on your seat belt, then I'll do it. And then um, I can show you some other options. First of all, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have a heads up display. It's right there in front of me. And there is kind of the window for it. It has also a JBL audio system that some of these trim levels have. And the center speaker is removable and you can actually use it as a little remote speaker. The Toyota guys were using it earlier this morning to play music. I think they like counting crows. Zach and I noticed this. So in the camera views on the edges, it's very, very fish-eyed. So Toyota is trying to show you as much detail as possible, but it's kind of warped. If you're looking straight up, of course, it's very, very clear. And I actually like the quality, the resolution of these cameras. It's pretty nice. So you can kind of see the front tires right there in front of us. So a lot of these views, including the bed. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's locked out because I'm in, not in four wheel drive, I believe. So there's certain modes. You could zoom in on your bed also. I love that. More, the more choices, the better. It has trailer backup assist feature. Drive mode, tow haul mode, of course, and a four high. If this was a hybrid, this will also have a full time four by four system, um, but this one is a part time system. And no Tacoma has four wheel drive automatic mode like some other pickups in the segment. Uh, here's a neat feature. Let me take the camera. So down here, there's also a quick button to disable the running boards. For example, if you're next to some sort of obstacle and you want to disable that, you don't have to dig into the screen. You can just um, right there, deploy them or kind of turn them off. So that's a pretty neat feature. Let's take it for a quick jaunt. It also has a wireless charging pad right there. Fully automatic climate control system, ventilated seats, heated seats, heated steering wheel. My trailer brake controller is still here on this trim. Really soft steering wheel, feels good. I think this steering wheel feels very, very similar to the Tundra. But interestingly, I was kind of expecting almost like a capstone level Tacoma because they now have a Tundra capstone and a Sequoia capstone. So I thought maybe Toyota would bring out a Tacoma capstone edition, but maybe that's still in the future. Maybe they just want to roll it, you know, start building this truck. And then later on, maybe I add certain other special editions. Yeah, smooth power. Can't really complain about the, this powertrain relatively quiet interior yeah so it'll be interesting i really want to kind of drive this one back to back with like a gmc canyon denali there are not many premium mid-size trucks but there are some you're probably wondering about price currently since the hybrids are not around yet currently this is going to be the most expensive version of the tacoma at least this year, um, as they introduced the new one. $52,100 is the starting price. And of course, with a few options, it could be more. But we've seen some off-road versions of new trucks reaching into the mid-size trucks, reaching into the $60,000 range and above. So starting at 52 is actually not too bad, comparatively speaking. 
Ooh, I think I just broke traction just a little bit on that turn. Oh yeah, and also the limited trim gets, some of them get AVS. So basically adaptive version of their suspension system. A Tundra has a somewhat similar system as well. Yeah, drives pretty smooth and nice. The seats are also pretty, pretty comfy. Yeah, I really think, feel like I can get really comfortable in this truck. Nice, so which one is best for you? Uh, <laughs> that's a huge question. I think uh, for you to decide, you need to watch more than one video because I did not go off-road in this particular video. There's a whole nother off-road video. Um, I think it's, if it was me, here's the current generation Tacoma passing me. You know what? I think that was, is that the limited? Interesting. Um, I think if it, if it was me, I probably would not get a two-wheel drive truck for sure. Um, so the, the pre-runner is out of the question. I do live in Colorado. Um, so then for me, it will probably be something like the TRD off-road trim. I probably don't need the limited of this particular one. And if I was really frugal, let's say I would get a TRD off-road with a manual because that's available for around 41, almost 42,000 to start. And I would get maybe the camera package, make sure that it has the surround view cameras. So that could push me a little bit higher. I think that's the truck I would get. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Which Tacoma would you prefer? A little bit more affordable, a little bit more luxurious and comfy, or something in between? Thanks for joining me. Check out oldtfl.com. We have the most affordable Tacoma review there. We have off-road reviews there as well. And old versus new.